How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me a guarantee. I'm gonna taste this jambalaya first. Let's just go ahead on and cook. Get the part of the chicken that I like. Turtle stew, come here, boy. Mm. You know that looks good? This is going to be good, I guarantee. I talk to it like it knows what I'm talking about. I like it, it's good. I believe in easy cooking, believe me, I do. Hi, y'all are. I'm glad for you to see me, I guarantee. And I've got some goodies for you here. I really do have. I'm gonna cook some eggs, and I'll talk about that when I get to doing it. But right now, I wanna start another dish. Right in there, I've got water. 16 cups of water in there. That's what's in there. I'm gonna put some cabbage. This makes about eight to 10 servings, depending on who's hungry. That's what we got. <laughs> and uh, then I'm gonna put two couples of Brussels, uh, we all call it Brussels, Brussels sprout, and four cups of one inch pieces of peeled sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. <laughs> and 12 cups of one inch cubes of cabbage. See that cord there, but I scratch through that. I like that core too. Shucks, that's good. <laughs> One and a half cups of dry white wine, right there. Salt and cayenne pepper to taste. My taste. <laughs> Hope you all like it. And I put everything in there, but first of all, I'm gonna turn the fire on. That's the best thing to do, I think, if I remember which one. I did remember which one. I can't get over that. Put that on medium and get that water to hotten up. And into that, I'm gonna put the cabbage. My hands are clean, I washed them yesterday. <laughs> Might just well get this started. I have a friend that doesn't like cabbage, but he loves Brussels, Brussels sprout. And he's the one that finishes my beautiful, shiitake mushrooms that I love to, to cook with because they have such a wonderful, distinct flavor and you don't recognize what it is unless you know what you're eating. I was on a TV show years ago in California and I got an omelet with shiitake mustard, uh, mushrooms in it. And with that show when they had four, four and there's all these people on, in, you know, and I cook every show. You do all of them in one day, five different shows. And this smart aleck, MC said to me, do you know what shiitake is? I said, yes, sir. It's a wonderful mushroom. He got so mad, he didn't think I knew it from the country. <laughs> Getting this in there, and I'm gonna stir it. Don't want to lose any of that, that's good stuff. Now I'll stir that up. Mm-hmm. Let's get to cooking. I'm gonna put that on high so I'll get it going. It's the best thing to do, put it on high, and there it is. Now I'm gonna put this, I could eat that just like it is. I like them raw, baked, boiled, any way you wanna cook them. I like them in cabbage. They make cabbage taste good. The people who don't like cabbage, they eat it anyhow. <laughs> the sweet potatoes make them taste good. Put that in there like that. And I'm gonna stir it as soon as I get it all in there. Let's go, girls and boys. Right. Stir. Yeah. Throw all that together. Now the Brussels sprout, they got to go in there. Ain't nothing new with a little bit of cabbage that didn't grow up, that's all it is. <laughs> Stir it, man. Now you're gonna put the seasoning to it and get it going good. Oh boy. 
get to cooking there now, let's get to cooking. Into this now, I got to put some dry white wine. Mmm. Cup and a half. And Sixteen cups of water, that's a good ratio for ever soil. Salt. Believe it or not, look at that red pepper trying to get on me and it'll make me sneeze. Salt. Let's see, I got uh, quite a few cabbage and I got some Brussels sprout. There's no meat in this, you know. This is a vegetarian and that's, that's a teaspoonful of salt, whether you know it or not. And people don't believe me. So I'll just measure this in a spoon to show you I know what I'm talking about. There's a spoon. Teaspoon, that is. And I bet that's a teaspoon. It's your I put two in there and I'm going to put three. It wasn't quite a teaspoon, so it worked all right just like that. Now, I got to stir, and I got to put cayenne pepper in there to taste my taste. And I don't like too much pepper. Contrary to what people try to make other people believe that Cajun people like real hot food, that's not true. They like food that is really well seasoned, and that's all. They don't want it too hot, they don't want it too cold. Now, I, I could put all of this in there. Some people would eat it. I couldn't. I don't want to try. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Let's get to shaking there. Let's get to shaking, baby. <laughs> now. Now, actually, I'm not getting much out of there. And if I want cheer, I would uh, take the top off and chunk some in there. But that's enough in there right now, and we're gonna let this cook. Get the boiling, baby. If you don't boil, you ain't gonna cook. That I know. I'll have to put the lid on that and look at it every now and then to be sure it's cooking just right. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm going to scramble some eggs with shiitake mushrooms and onion in it. And if I'd put rice in it, it would be an egg jambalaya. That's one, one, one of the things it would, do, it would be. Now, here, here, got that. Now I got to put, I got to move this recipe and be sure I'm looking at the other one. I got all the other ingredients. I got the Brussels sprout, the cabbage, the uh, sweet potatoes, dry white wine. I didn't forget that, I never do. And now I got the egg and mushroom and onion. That's what this is. The first thing I got to do is turn my fire on with, uh, with olive oil. Uh, it says, this recipe says two tablespoons. I may put a little bit more than that because I'm gonna use more than, than the eggs that call for this recipe because I want everybody to get a little taste of it. It's very good. There's two teaspoons, two tablespoons. I'm gonna do it, I'll, I'll try it. It's just about two tablespoons. Yep. <laughs> now I got to get that fire going underneath that so it'll, it'll cook up a storm. Come on here, boy. Wrong one. I just figured that was the wrong one. I know it didn't act right. Put that on medium and it'll hot up real fast. It'll oil run around to be sure I got oil all on the bottom. Now I got to whip those eggs, just whip the daylights out of them while that's heating up a little bit. There's seven eggs in here, large egg. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna scramble them, and as I say, if we'd put rice in it, make an egg jump a lot. That's good too, I, I love it. I like a bigger bowl than this one. I'm going to beat these things because I beat hell out of them. <laughs> All right, egg, let's do that point. Let's get beaten together. Mm. It says salt and garlic powder. And I'm going to put the garlic powder in here. 
Just a little, not much, yeah. Like a, oh, let's see. I don't think I'll put much garlic powder in here. Just, just a half a teaspoon. Now, garlic powder. You stay right there. I don't want you to come falling out of there like that. I can measure half a teaspoon without getting in any trouble with this. I knew that was going to fall. Half a teaspoon. And I got to put some little hot sauce in there. Whether you all like it or not, that's going to go in it. Yeah, let's go. Get that garlic powder beaten to these eggs real good. Now, if I could just get you to stay there like you're supposed to, everything would be all right, and I think I can do it. Watch. I'll see what you're slipping on. Huh. I got to put these onion in here and cook them till they're clear. Clear onions are usually done onions. And then, I'll put a little of these beautiful shiitake mushrooms, which to me are the best mushrooms to eat. And a friend of mine raised these and sent them to me. Isn't that wonderful? They use right now. They're expensive. A lot of stores that may not have them, but a great many stores do have. They've got to cook. They've got to cook a little while. When I'm cooking these, I can't help but think about a little story I want to tell you about a little boy, Cajun boy, nice family, good church members, went to church every Sunday and all that. But when he was just a little fella, oh, I guess about the six or five year old, they'd take him out to dinner every now and then, and he but they never would let him order. We went out one night, and he said, Papa, please let me order, please let me order. Well, he said, son, you've been so, been so good, we're going to let you order. He said, go ahead and order. The witch said, what do you want, little, little mister? He said, I want some eggs. How would you like your eggs? He said, on the rock. Boy, come on here now. I love to cook. I love to eat. And I bet I've lost 185,000 pounds in my lifetime, too. <laughs> and now I'm keeping my weight right pretty good. Just varies five pounds in a day every now and then. And I'm glad it does that. Now, I'm going to lower this fire when I get the onion the way they're clear. Because when I put the egg on that, I don't want them to cook too fast, but I want them to cook good. I love scrambled eggs. There ain't no two ways about that. Love them. I love eggs anyway, hard boiled. One day I cooked eggs 39 different ways in the uh, muffin tin. Had a uh, little gin in one, some, uh, some wine in one, some creme de mort in one. Oh, they, they tasted good, too. Brandy in one. Come on now, mushrooms, and cook good. You're doing good. Yes, sir. Now I've got to lower that fire a little bit because I think it's a little, ah, yeah. That smell good? Oh, yeah. Come on, on y'all, cook. Do a little bit better than that. You can do better than that cooking, I know. I can tell. You know, um, when I was about eight years old, my mama, bless her wonderful heart, and God rest her soul, taught me to cook. 
we lived on a farm, and one day Mama said to Papa, Paul said to Harry, I need someone to help me. The kids, I said, Mama, I'll help, I'll help, I'll help. I hate the words in that field, any of you tonight. She said, all right, come on in there, and you can help me. And without realizing it, I was getting an education without uh, worrying about being educated, you know? She was the most creative cook I've ever known. And I inherited her creativity. I'm very proud of her. And Papa said, I want to work in the field. I said, can't you see I'm helping Mama, huh? He said, what you doing? I said, whatever she tells me to do, I do. And I did, see. <laughs> but that's how all my cooking started. I, and, and I'm so glad it started like that. I didn't have to go to school for it. I had the greatest teacher in the world and didn't know I was going to school. Still hate school. So, <laughs> so I mean, these onions are just about clear. And I'm fixing to scrambulate some eggs. And I'm going to eat some of them, too. I want you to know. No, get that lady told me, don't beat those pots. I said, I got to, lady. <laughs> and I do it. Now, come here, eggs. Let's you and I get with the program. Oh, let's see, I got to put salt in the egg. That's what I got to do. Just a, a little salt. I didn't put it in there. I know that. Got to put a little, let me move it over there like Salt. This thing don't say salt. Yeah, do salt to taste. Here I go. That seven egg. That'll take three quarters of a teaspoon full of salt. And maybe a little more. <laughs> it's a little more, not much, no. Put that over there out of the way. And put that salt in there good. And I like a little Louisiana hot sauce in mine. And I happen to have some handy right here. And if I can get this damn whisk to hold still, I'm gonna put some in there. Hold it there. Well, don't. I'll put you over here. You won't hold still anywhere, you know it. I shook it good. Here, let's go. Just a little. And that's less than a half a teaspoon, folks. Now, this is not real hot stuff. It's made with cayenne pepper, which is good for you. And I'm gonna just whip this a little bit and just scramble the hell out of these eggs right now. Here I come ready or not, eggs. Now go any way you want to. Here I go. Mm-hmm, that's gonna be good. Get your last dollar on that. Gonna be real good, in fact, and I'm gonna eat some of this, too. Oh, man, egg, just go ahead and cook just right. That's on a low fire. I'm gonna have to raise it just at least a little bit, because I'm not satisfied with the way it's cooking. Oh, now it's doing it. Cook up there. You know, I love chicken. And I love eggs. I love food. No question about that, man. Do I love food? Boy, I'll tell you one thing. Come on, egg, you're doing pretty good. Let's get to going. Get to get fried. I like my egg. I don't like I don't like my scrambled eggs runny, you know. I like them kind of firm, which these will be. A small spatula that's good. You don't want a great big one that gets in the way. My eggs, you're doing good, but I want you to kind of hurry, and they're doing that for me. Mm -hmm. Get those sides, all right. Oh, now you're going. Let's really get with it. A little more fire, that'll hurry him. <laughs> hurry anybody or anything. <laughs> yeah. 
I got to watch these eggs. I don't want them to, to burn on me, no. Have to start all over. That would be bad, yeah, like making a roux. You burn your roux, you start all over. I ain't going in. Getting better all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Getting off the bottom there because the bottom cooks quicker than the top. That I know. Anybody knows that, I think. I found that out a long time ago, the hard way. Oh, man. That smells good, too. All right, Abe, I ain't getting nearly to the point where I'm going to turn the fire off. Nearly to the point. And I'm going to sit down and eat some egg and some cabbage with sweet tater in them. You don't go on right. Now, that's cooked enough. I'm going to put you on this platter like I'm supposed to, Abe, if you'll cooperate with me. And I guess you will. I have to admit that's pretty. Mushroom, shiitake mushroom, onion. I love onion too. I make onion sandwich every now and then. <laughs> but I know I'm not going anywhere. I won't have to breathe on anybody. I sure do. Come out of there. Come out of there. Come on, come on. Now. Now I'm just gonna take I'm just gonna take me a little bit of that. For me. Mm-hmm. Just a little egg. I like egg, like I told you. I don't want to take that much, so I just want to take a little. Like that much. Maybe I might just well take what I have. Looks good. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to get me some cabbage that I cooked earlier to be sure I had it here now. And I got to check that cabbage right there, too. I can tell. Cabbage and sweet potato and... Don't that look good? It is good. So let me turn this fire down a little bit over here while I'm thinking about it. Yes, sir. Uh, Got to put that on simmer rimmer. Oh, well, now I got it. Just exactly right. Now go sit down as you stand and taste this and tell the people how good it is. I'll, I'll be glad to did that, I'll guarantee. <laughs> Ooh, come here to me. Put down a napkin. Here's a napkin. All right. Sit yourself down. Pour yourself just a little bit of wine. <laughs> now, red wine goes with anything. Is it, uh, that's, that's part chicken, is egg. But I like red wine. I like a Merlot or a Pinot Noir. That sounds like I know a lot about wine. I just know the wine I like, that's all. And this is a Merlot right here. And I'll pour just a sliver or two of that in there. To be sure I got enough to wash the egg, that's enough, that's enough, all right? Thank you. <laughs> Now I got this, and I'm going to taste this and let you know how good it is just as soon as I can. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I guarantee that's good. Oh, boy. Do I guarantee it? Come here, get a little closer. Got my napkin on. Uh huh. Mm, mm, mm. Now, I've got to try that cabbage. Now, that is delicious cabbage with sweet potato in it. I'll tell you for truth. Let me taste the sweet potato to see how it does. And that is good. It's got a little cabbage flavor, a little uh, Bruce Hill sprout flavor. But I'm going to have to go back to the egg and see how they're doing. Mm, 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 mm. i tell you right now, I ain't no king. 
but this is fit for one, I'll tell you that, any time. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. A Bruce L. Sprout, I'm gonna split you in half. Gotcha. Ah, that's hot with fire. Oh boy. Now that don't taste like cabbage, it tastes like Brussels sprouts, you know that? <laughs>